Hello again, everyone. So, this is a quick tips on a, or just a full tutorial. I don't know it yet. I don't know how long it'll take. But it is on a script, Kitchen Cabinet Creator, that I found while looking for another script that I was going to do a tutorial on. So, I found this one. I thought this one would be better since I just got back from Toronto. I don't have as much time to make one of these as well. But, I mean, I still have time. I'm going to make it as good as I can, but I just want to get one out. Anyways, I can, I'm going to make one of these. And really what this is, is it creates quick cabinets. As you can see, you can create little sink cabinets, different things like that. You can create a little stand for TV and stuff. Excuse me. And now what you can do is easily create cabinets and uh, TV stands, bathroom sinks. And this allows you to make uh, cabinets or details in your homes that would be a lot harder to do if you're doing it by yourself or if you're doing it it wouldn't be harder but take a lot longer than just running the script so uh, download the script right here there is a cabinet script there's a macro script you don't need to zip just this MSE file and now what you'll do is when you download the script you'll save it into your Mac scripts folder so what you do is you go under wherever download it now you go wherever you installed it so for me it's program files Autodesk 2012 max 20 <coughs> max 2012 and scripts right there and it will be kitchen cabinet creator as you can see I have a lot of other things but I mean those we've done tutorials on and everything so you save it you pull it into here and then when you go under your max you go max script run script and you go out to kitchen cabinet creator double click on it and run it and this floater box will pop up. Now, first what we're going to do is set our units. So under Customize Unit Setup, we're going to make it sure it's decimal inches. Now the beautiful thing about the script is you can switch your scripts and it or your units and it automatically switches it. So if you didn't have it uh, changed to, there we go, Customize Unit Setup, to decimal inches already, you can easily just change it to decimal inches now and it will automatically do this. The reason we use decimal inches is because most things in the world are built using inches. The imperial system is still huge in the building world. I don't know why, but maybe it's because, actually I don't know why, because it's easier and it's, or it's easier not to change and people know what a foot is, they know what an inch is. It's easy enough to uh, work around it and it's so deeply ingrained into building then they don't want to change it so we'll just use decimal inches so first we'll go over what these things do so really right now I'm going to alt W to bring to make this perspective view bigger we can select floor cabinets we can make wall cabinets and we can make both floor cabinets are ones that go on the floor they'll be like your smaller things that you would keep plates in I don't even know if you keep plates in this you would have your sink on top of it, you keep all your garbage in underneath those cabinets, those are the floor cabinets, the wall cabinets you keep your glasses in, they're up on the wall and etc etc. So ne next what it is is a worktop. This is, worktop will create a countertop to it. So if we create a floor cabinet, so we just go create a floor cabinet, this is a worktop right here, this little piece right here. Next is a sink and as you know what a sink is, it just creates a sink in it. Nothing too fancy, but doesn't need to be because you're usually pretty far away when you're seeing these things. So we'll delete those as well. Next, what you can do is you create handles. These handles will go on doors and drawers down here. So that would make it, uh, excuse me, that would make it easier to create your handles. If you want to create a more intricate handle, you'll have to do it yourself. You can kind of use rail clone style things and make your own handle and input it into it. That'd be cool if you could, but you can't sadly. So you have to take where you get. However, the handles are pretty good. So you can create. Oh, I need to turn on doors. So we'll just turn on doors here. Press create. And you can see the handles. They're pretty good. They're just a box and a little output, but they work and they look like a handle. So next, what we're going to do, excuse me, is see over these. You can do, you can group the cabinet elements. If you don't want to, you can just uncheck that. Really, that's all it does is you create it. This is now a group if you look under here. You see that's a group. You know it's a group because it's bolded. However, you turn off this, and I'll delete this again, create, you can see that this isn't a group and it's just a single door. Depending on what you want, it doesn't matter. If you're going to move it around a lot, I wouldn't group them. If, or if you're going to like move the individual pieces a lot, I wouldn't group them. If you're going to move the entire thing and never touch it, and like animate the doors opening and closing, keep them grouped. It makes it a lot easier to move around. 
and you can also create random cabinets. So we can create four random cabinets, hit random create, and there we go, four random cabinets. And it looks pretty easy. Like that's a nice way to create something simple. And if you don't like those cabinets, you can just turn off the sink because we don't need sinks in there. Random create. And oh, I guess random create doesn't take into your account what you have clicked up here. But it doesn't really matter because it's just a random creation. So we'll just delete all those out. And next what we're going to do is go into this floor units uh, rollout bar. So for floor cabinets we have these width, height, depth, and thickness. These all speak really much for themselves as the width of the cabinet between X and Y. The depth, the height of the cabinet and the depth of the cabinet from the wall outwards. The thickness is just how thick the wood is. So this is about an inch thick wood. I know it doesn't say an inch, but in building terms, an inch is around in, uh, one by eight piece of wood isn't actually one inch by eight inches. It's one, eight, one inch by eight inches at, or before they trim it down and take off all the ugly stuff and sand it down to a nice wood. So 0.7 is usually about a one inch thick piece of wood in building terms. Mask is, if I create it, Mask is this area down here. So really this is your footboard or your kickboard or however you want to speak it. If I turn the mask up, here I'm just going to move this bench over. So when we create it, it'll create it in the middle again. You'll notice that this has a much higher kickboard. And that's all the mask is. Shelves, if we turn off the doors, you can see the shelves. So I'll get those out. We have one shelf in there right now. As you can see, the shelf is right in there. You can turn up the shelves to, I think, five. Yep, it's up to five. And you can get the shelves looking like this. You can also do vertical shelves. So there we go. We'll delete this and create this again to show the vertical shelves off. And then you can also do drawers, doors or drawers. Usually, if you're not going to animate anything, you don't have to put shelves in when you put doors or drawers on. So if we create it, drawers are just the horizontal doors. We we'll go over there. And doors are vertical. If we create. As you can see, doors are vertical, drawers are horizontal. If you have doors, you get this thing on the on black, and then you make four doors. I'll delete that out. Create those. As you can see, you can have four doors. Drawers, I think you can go up to five. No, six, sorry. And you can have six drawers. So those are like the basics of the floor units. The floor units also have the sink on them and the worktop on them. The, the top units, the wall units, won't have that. So next what we're going to do is go to wall cabinets and go over how these work. So, excuse me, this is the same right here. The width, height, depth, and thickness are all the same. This new Z position is different. So this Z position is how high the cabinet is up off the zero plane that you're creating it on. If you want all the cabinets to have the same Z position, I don't know why I switched there. If you want all the cabinets to have the same Z position, you can just set it up here. However, if you want different set positions, this will offset it on the amount after this Z position here. So this will be an extra 5 inches. Actually, I'll put it 10 inches up. This will be an extra 10 inches up after this 62 inches is applied. So if we create these, you'll notice that this one is only 10 inches up. This one is 62 inches up. So actually, I think I might have lied to you. I apologize. This over, if this is anything but zero, this will overwrite this default Z height position. So if you want this one to be, let's say, 50 inches up, and this one to be the default height up, we'll do three, and this one to be the default height up, all you have to do is select this one to be a different height, press create, and this one is now only 50 inches up. The other two are higher. Next for what we have is the vertical and horizontal for the shelves. Same like in the floor units, vertical shelves mean vertical ways horizontal horizontal and those are you can put up four, oh, five shelves and four doors again so you can't have six shelves you can only have five shelves this time five shelves and four doors and you can drop it down to zero for each of them if you wanted as well that doesn't matter next is the glass doors and the full doors so full doors if I create this are these things right here that's because I don't have any there's not showing any doors here is because I don't have any doors here however if I'm going to delete these out Go back to one cabinet, excuse me, and turn on doors up to one and create it. So this is a full door. It doesn't have uh, any panels on it, so this door panel really doesn't mean anything. And it's just a block of wood. However, if we go into glass doors and we create it, this is now a glass door. And you can see there's a panel around it. This panel size is controlled by this slider right here or this roller right here. 
And let's say we want a 5-inch panel around it. We just do that, press Create, and there we got a 5-inch panel around it. So now that we got our basics of it down, we're going to create three different types of cabinets very simply. So first what we're going to do is create a TV stand. And this is just going to be floor cabinets, so it's more like an entertainment center. So what we're going to do is select three cabinets, make three cabinets, and we're just going to keep the floor cabinets because that's all right. We don't need any worktop because it really doesn't have worktop. We don't need a sink in a TV station, so that's not going to be necessary. However, we need handles, and we'll use round handles because they're nice. So what we're going to do now is for four unit one and three, what we want is two little uh, drawers beside it and then a really long flat one for where your gigantic TV will sit or the TV will sit whenever you make one for a building or something. So to do this, our first and third floor unit will have a width of 16, 16, a height of 24, a mask of 2, so this is like the kickboard, so it will be a smaller kickboard. We'll have one shelf in it, it will be drawers, and the, uh, sorry, it will be drawers, it will be horizontal drawers, and there will be four of them. So we're just going to make sure that this is the same for this one, so 16, 24, the depth is fine, the thickness is fine, mask of two, horizontal drawers, and four of them. For the middle part where the gigantic TV will sit, is we're going to need to make a gigantic TV area. We're going to have 72 inch width, which is a really long width, only 12 inches height, so it's going to be only a foot off the ground, but that's alright because it looks cool. A mask of two again, so we're just going to have the same mask across the entire bottom so it looks pretty solid. We're going to have one shelf. It's going to be open though because we don't need doors or drawers here. And it's going to be a vertical shelf so it cuts off in between. So now what we're going to do is press create, and there we go. We have our floor unit. And that looks is a very simple way to create a TV stand. It doesn't look too detailed, but if you back out far enough, you'll be pretty far away usually from when your shots are. And it looks good. As well, you can add little things to it. Like once you throw a TV on it, throw a remote or a few magazines underneath it, it will look much better. So there we go. And there we are. That is our TV stand. Pretty simple, pretty quick. Created in about three minutes. Nothing too hard. Next, what we're going to do is some kitchen cabinets. For this, we want both of them. We want the top and the bottom, just like kitchen cabinets. As you can see, now we have the wall units and floor units both available for us. So to do these, we'll just use three cabinets on each of them. Three cabinets. And we're going to make sure there's a worktop on it, since there's usually countertops on those. We'll make handles. We'll leave them as square handles, because I kind of like square handles. For the floor unit, excuse me. We'll leave the height, width, and depth. The default values are pretty standard and pretty good for a just a basic cabinet if you don't want anything too much to happen with it. So what we can do next is we will change, however, the mask to be only, excuse me, we'll only leave the mask to about three. I don't want a shorter mask. I really don't like kickboards too, too much. And what we're going to do is we're going to make front panels. We're going to have them as drawers. We're going to have one, excuse me, five drawers, one shelf, and the drawers are going to be horizontal. So this will be the floor units, but however we need to make them all the same. Sadly there's no easy way to just copy and paste them over to the other ones. We actually have to hard code it, or well, I guess hard move it. So we got this is all good, we just want a three inch mask, and a three inch mask. There we go. So that's what your door, floor units should look like, and now we'll move on to our wall units. Now our wall units, again, pretty simple. We want the Z position to be about 60, so we just want all of them to be about the same, so we just leave it like that. However, we want this middle one to go up a bit, so we want that to 72. And we want the height to be 12 inches less than these other two. So instead of 36, it will be 35, excuse me. It will be 23. And this will leave a nice little thing for where the sink is under. So, or where the, uh, the centerpiece is under, not the sink. Sorry, the sink is for the bathroom one. So we got that, we got all that was set up. Next what we're going to do is make the shelves horizontal, like we have right there. And we're going to have two shelves and two doors per, so that's fair, just perfect like that. Now what we want is the door panels to be around the same height, but I want them a bit smaller, so I'm going to do 1.5. Sorry, I just clicked in the wrong button on my numpad. 1.5 and 1.5. And we also want them glass doors. Now we want to create all these at the same time. We don't want to just create the floor units or the wall units. So we can go up here, press create all, 
And there we go. We have some kitchen cabinets that look quite nice and quite like a kitchen cabinet. We'll move those over to next to our TV stand. And lastly, what we're going to create is a bathroom sink. So this is going to be a very simple one. We just want a both again, so we'll keep it there. We'll turn on the sink. The sink is necessary for the worktop. However, this thickness of the worktop, one inch is just pretty standard. I'll, 1.5 inches is pretty standard, but I'll drop it down to one inch just because I don't want anything really that big. We'll use a square sink. We will need handles, of course, and I like round handles. So we'll go down, and in our floor units, we'll just make sure that the door, there'll be doors, and there will be horizontal, and that's good enough for me. Same for here, we'll just make sure horizontal doors, and we'll make them full doors, because I don't really want them to be able to see through the area that will include all of your junk for the bathroom. So we'll just press create all again, and there we go. We got some drawers, some doors, and some drawers. Blah, blah. Man, those are going to be hard words to say in a while. And we have three pretty basic cabinets, but it only took us 10 minutes to make. It would take us much longer to make these if we were using uh, box primitives, copying, pasting them, all of them. They're all nicely set up like this. And you can make some crazy things from there. As well, you got this nice little kickboard that you can see from the bottom, even if you look from the side or from the back behind of it. And the, the only thing is, the only problem that might arise is if you're going to try to animate these things some of these things might not line up as you can see right like that like you'd actually have to make the drawers line up and everything like that however since we're not going to be animating them and showing inside no use creating something that the person will not see so there we go uh, I've quickly shown you how to make some cabinets and everything under the script itself there is a help file in it that is like six uh, point form so it's not too helpful but you know it'll always help if you're in a bind as well if you have any more questions about this one I just found it and it's really awesome and I really want to use it more um, I'll be working with this one a lot so ask questions about this one I should be able to answer them pretty easily and yeah I hope you enjoyed I hope you to see some of your awesome cabinet creations and hope that this helps in like architecture stuff that you guys are going to use or buildings and stuff and it will help you populate your buildings very easily. You can throw some like glasses in here and it'll make it look cool. Throw a TV on there and it'll be very simple. This is just a baseline of what your cabinets are going to look like, but from this it just is so easy to create and material and everything like that. So, hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Cheers.